Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Welcome back to this、um, speed build. I built a、uh, another beautiful art for you. You didn't build shit. I've got. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> and I've got my friend with me to show it to y'all. This is Louise. Say hi. Hi. Oh, there you go. Okay, now you... that's not me. <laughs> I'm. <You're laughs> Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I built this lot for you guys. Okay. <laughs> And my friend Louis is here to talk with me about it. Very quietly, mind you. Yes, because we're still trying to figure out the sound.、Um, It's difficult. It's rough. Yeah, it is rough.、I'm、trying to get rid of these habits because apparently we are moving around a lot See, while I, talking. The thing is, I feel like when I watch YouTubers, I get really mad when the audio doesn't work. And now we're like struggling. To make the audio work, and now I'm mad at myself. <laughs> yeah, you seem to be a really angry person. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a really angry person. Don't 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 st stop moving.、Uh, oh man. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop moving. I'm just gonna stay very very still. So I'm I'm pretending to be duct tape to my chair,、um, so I don't move around so lot, so much, I,、uh, and so I don't、um, move the desk. Yeah, because it makes an awful rumbling noise. It does. Um, I'm actually duct taped to my chair.、Um, that's what <laughs> happens when we do these voiceovers. She gets me, and then she duct tapes me to the chair, and she's like, "I'm not gonna let you go until we got yet this voiceover done." So here you go, hostage situation. That's all a joke, by the way. Please. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, tell us about what you've、um, thought up for、uh, this week. Well, this is the build that、um, people have definitely been been waiting for. I've been waiting for it. That is nice to hear.、Um, so this is、uh, in the new world of Tatosa, which came with the new wedding-related pack. And、uh, when did this come out? Like three weeks ago. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I'm not up to snuff. I'm sorry.、Um, so I, I've been really excited to build in this world since it's been announced because I love doing Mediterranean builds, and this world is a mixture of multiple. Mediterranean countries. It's inspired by the Mediterranean area, I guess. I like that. And、um, I'm I'm not so much into weddings. I don't know if you can say that, but I don't do <laughs> gameplay, so I don't really care about the gameplay aspect. Right. And you know, I love to build residentials. Absolutely, I do. So.、Um, I I wasn't particularly excited to do like a, a traditional wedding venue. Right. Like I, I I knew that wasn't something that fit what I wanted to do. Right. Um. But I had this idea for this abandoned church, overgrown、um, ruins situation. Right. <laughs> As a wedding venue.、Um, I guess half a year ago, but we didn't have that lot type, so I was delighted to hear that I would now get to build it and for it to have that very specific purpose. Wait, so this is supposed to be an abandoned church?、Uh, yes, a chapel. So a chapel on an island, mind you. So that's really cool. Right. I think.、Um, you can you can、um, get to the church by boat. No, there is a bridge. There, well, but you can still get to it by boat. Oh, that's I what guess. I'm saying you can take your、I、yacht to your wedding. Yeah, you. Yeah, you could.、Um, if you're a capitalist pig, that is. So,、uh, <laughs> my bad.、Um, no, I, I really like the venue. I think、um, these kind of ruins always look really cool. Yes, I agree. And yeah, this is definitely not my first ruins build. I've really been getting some use out of these items that came with、um, get together, and then also the other ruins that came with cottage living. I've noticed. Even I've noticed. Yeah, I I just love them too much. Every time I build with them again, I'm unsure if it's too repetitive. But I, I you know, what? I don't really care. Do you? Because、yeah. you you kind of sound very defensive right now. <laughs> no, I just I really love them, and I think this is a great build. I'm really proud of this. <laughs> right? No, I think it's really cool as well. Um, so for y'all who like to build, uh, sorry, who like to play, this is a functioning wedding venue. It is. Um, at least I hope so. I was trying to use this as a wedding venue for the intro and outro shots. And you will have have noticed that the intro is not actually a wedding shot.、Um, 
because I, I tried to get this to work and I've been hearing about how this pack is as, as buggy as Sims packs tend to be and I got to see that for myself. Oh, and it okay. was, I would say, it was one of the most frustrating experiences yeah, of I could, my life. I, I could, uh, I was able to hear you yelling <laughs> to the walls. Yes, I did <laughs> yell. I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> is it is it the interactions that are broken with the items? What what is actually buggy about it? Nothing worked. Sims were stuck constantly. Um, oh. Nothing was working. No one was moving to their assigned seats. Right. I guess I, I've never like I've been a wedding photographer. If if you've seen my uh, Villa Ava video, um, I think it's the interior one, where I, I've now gotten multiple messages that I predicted this pack kind of. Right. Um, I mean, I'm not the only person to to wish for a Mediterranean world. Right. Um, but I. It was in a wedding related video, so that's kind of fun. Um, so in that video I talked about how I used to be a wedding photographer, but I've never planned a wedding. But I imagine it must be really annoying to get people to where you need them to be for like these specific activities and events. Well, it kind of depends, right? Because this doesn't seem like a huge wedding venue it seems like something you would invite maybe like what 30 40 people to and do like oh, a private way less. Kind of... so way this less. has okay. um 12 seats in the respective areas i feel like you should be able to get 12 people to to do what you want them to do yes and they love you you know they're I, they're your well, wedding i'm going to i'm going to invite all my worst nemesis to my wedding how many worst nemeses is that? Yeah, nemeses. The, the yeah, yeah, nemeses? yeah, I you, think do you it have? sounds good. Uh, 12. So, coincidentally, that works out perfectly. Well, so this lot is what I would advise you <laughs> to use for your wedding. I was uh, imagining this as a place fitting for an elopement, right. I guess. Uh, this is not a place you would rent and plan out your wedding for. Maybe this is... Um, a place that your best friend would find for you and then they'd gather your closest friends Allies. and family. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a very specific idea about how this is going down. Oh no, that's just what I was imagining when I yeah, built this. Yeah, I'm telling this. you it's very specific the way you imagined it. It's oddly specific. I guess, I guess the Sims community that I usually, uh, like the people that I interact with from the Sims community are so creative right. about their stories and the gameplay that I don't feel like I have specific ideas. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, this is not a place you, you you rent and then you talk to a manager and they're like, okay, you're gonna have to pay so and so many simoleons and then we're gonna hire a caterer and a pianist. You're saying there's not gonna be food at this wedding? No, there is gonna be food. It's just but gonna it's, be free. It's more of a wild, handmade, um, Right, it's not, yeah. Free. Yeah, okay. Free spirited. Okay, I gotcha. You're selling this place again. <laughs> um, what would you say, how many weddings have you been to in your life? Because I've been to like two, maybe tops. Well, as a guest, I think I've been to four. Oh man. Which is not a lot. And I've That's been a, a child for three of those. And okay. I did not have fun. Right. And those three, because as a child, I thought weddings were incredibly boring. I still think they can be very boring, even as an adult. Yes, but I would this confidently say that in a place like this, a wedding would not be boring. No, absolutely. First of all, the Mediterranean setting, then you'd have like crazy jet skis on the water and you could do all kinds of stuff with that and I'd be on the jet skis. Yes, and I made sure that there is an opening where from the um, reception area, which is this uh, further decayed area of the church right. to the left, um, there is an opening there where you can hop straight into the ocean. See, that's, that's all that I want in a right. wedding venue. And then I can swim off and live with the dolphins. So... That's kind of sick. I'm not sure that's a universal experience that you're describing. Well, there. I never said it was. Uh, you're right. So I just want to make sure that you know that I want to end up living with dolphins at some point. 
and I will support you all the way. Good, good. I'm glad we have that out of the way. Um, okay, so you've thought of this as like a small wedding menu that people can book, right? Right. It has 12 seats in the church itself, which is where you would hold the ceremony, where you would exchange vows and whatever you want to do, walk down the aisle and all that stuff. Right. The good stuff. I and don't know how a wedding works. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how like the, the chronological order of events is. It's very different between different cultures, so there's not. Yeah, that really... makes a lot of sense to me. But even like in our culture, or I don't, I don't, I don't know how it works. Our mystery culture, our you mystery mean? Our mystery culture that we will never disclose what it is. <laughs> um, I don't know how it works. Well, is there like a minister? Part... Is there like a, a religious figure present? Is that how it works? An efficient. Yeah, there you go. And what do they do? Do they just kind of ask, "Hey, do you want to marry the person?" Then you go. Yes, and then it's I can't culture. talk about it because of our mystery culture. Ah, that makes sense, right. Okay, I'll ask you this later. So, um, let's go back to what you were saying about the exchanging of vows. Right, so there's 12 seats there. And now, usually in, a, in, in all the builds I've seen so far in Tatosa, those have been arranged very neatly. You know, you right. have your pairs of chairs next to each other, and then you have your five rows of two chairs each or three right. chairs each and compliant with the theme that I had in mind for this lot um, I arranged them very chaotically kind of just um, randomly placed them around the aisle so that people would have a good view at the couple and also not fall backwards into the thicket because I, I think I said this before, but the, the floor in this church is all broken uh, because it's very old and it's supposed to be abandoned. So there's stuff growing all over it. If, if you had your wedding at this venue, what kind of catering would there be? What is your dream wedding food? I don't know. I've never thought about this before. I've placed a little table with some sweets on it. Um, I'm not... I, th I think you can get catering in The Sims and there's one of those food fountains. A food fountain? Yeah. Do you that, mean like a chocolate fountain? Yeah, but it doesn't have to be chocolate. It could cheese. be cheese, for That's example. It, right? Or those are the only two options. Champagne. Champagne? That's not a food fountain. That is just an alcohol fountain. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> um, so I do enjoy that. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've, I've been to a lot of weddings. They have good food generally? Yes, people they have spend catering? so much money on food. They spend so much money on weddings. That's the part I've... Like, I get it. If you, like, this is supposed to be, like, one of your, the best days of your life, right? So you're going to spend a lot of money on it. I would waste it all on food. We would be sitting in the crappiest room eating the best food, dining like kings. That's my deal. Which, I, I am not a very um, diverse person when it comes to the foods that I eat. So there's just kind of going to be pasta. But it's just going to be very expensive pasta. You're a picky eater. I am a picky eater, yeah. Well, I gotta say, what you just mentioned with your wedding day supposedly being the best day of your life, I gotta say that stresses me out. Just that thought stresses me out. Yeah, I feel like going in with the expectations also kind of sets you up to fail. Right? Always. You gotta go in thinking it'll be the worst day of your life. It, and then it's gonna be fine. It sounds so stressful. But I feel like, personally, Every day is the best day of my life just because it's a new day. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like want to look back on my wedding day and be like, well, can't top this. Right. <laughs> yeah, because you know it's all going to be downhill from there. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> that sounds terrible to me. Also, just always the day that you're like the day that you're currently living in is, is the only day that you're going to be living in. So there's no no sense of making these comparisons between days, right? Right. But I like, there are like days that I I enjoy to remember. Right. Then, yeah. But your wedding is not going to be one of them is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm going to 
say I don't even know if I could take the pressure of getting married. No, yeah, I get that, but there's like there's advantages with uh, tax and stuff, so so that's kind of the reason to do it, right? You get you get married because you get like tax exemptions and stuff like that. That's very pragmatic. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm not gonna get married. I'll send mental reasons. Come on, man. That's crazy to me. No, I'm kidding, of course. Um, but having an expensive wedding, it's gonna be good later on having those tax exemptions for getting that money back in, right? <laughs> <laughs> you catch my drift. Well, personally, I think I would really enjoy a wedding similar to this one that I imagine for this build. I really like having a few people there who you really love and, and want to spend that day with and celebrate your love. What is that instrument? An uh, harpsichord? Ah, right. Yeah, I, I was going to say it doesn't look like a grand piano at all. Uh, it might be what it's called. I'm not very well versed when it comes to uh, instruments, but it looks really cool. Um, and it probably plays really cool. Harpsichords, they don't have any dynamic to them, if, if I'm correct there. You don't, you can't play louder or quieter. It's just I'm all the Lewis, same. and I am not very well versed in instruments, but a harpsichord has no dynamic. <laughs> well, hi, Luis. You sound like a pretentious douche. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> um, no, that's really cool. Right? They, it's all kind of the same. The same volume level, level, just a very much unlike our recording right now, which is all over the place. Yeah, we really need to get a new microphone. Well, we will figure that out for Eventually. the next voiceover. Like 12 years. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Um, going back, I was just thinking that the acoustics might not be amazing. Might not be amazing? Oh, they might be amazing. I don't know how People it works. Do love to play instruments in church, right? That but is... this is no not a closed building, right? It's like broken down. No, it is closed. It just has that open door, but you could close that. And I still think that that stone has great echoing qualities, doesn't it? Is that what I want playing the harpsichord? Great echoing qualities. I think so. Isn't that why why like organs sound so amazing in churches? Right, but organ is a very different instrument. I would go on a limb and say that. What makes an organ sound good isn't it might just be the echo, but I don't know if that necessarily is true for every instrument. Because an organ is also very indirect in when playing it. It's like there is almost a delay or, or there is pretty much a delay between hitting the button and the sound coming out. So there's kind of like Really? A, I think so, yeah. I think it's not very immediate. Is that why it's so complex to learn to play an that, organ? That's the that's thing when, you know, you like, you know how to play the piano and then going to an organ, it, you have to play a lot, not necessarily slower. Yeah, maybe it is slower actually, because like the sound is coming up way later. It's also a way bigger instrument. There's a lot more sound to it. Um, yeah, I think it's different. I don't think it translates very nicely. But don't quote me on that, because I'm not an audio expert by any stretch of the imagination. I feel like we say that about every statement we make. Very responsible of us to, to announce well, that. Well, you gotta, right? Because we're not an expert in anything. Right, we're just really. humble. Um, I'm not sure about humble, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we're just not very knowledgeable and kind of make a lot of guesses. And then <laughs> we have the, um, the intelligence to um, own up to that. And I think that's very, very reasonable of us. Right? Right. No, blow our own horn, that's it. <laughs> um, what is this? Is this a bar? Yes, this is a bar. And you've also just seen me build a toilet because I figured it'd be nice to have a toilet on this lot because Sims have to pee all the time. Right. But I was kind of struggling to incorporate a toilet into this build because, you know, it doesn't make too much sense. I was considering just putting one of those bushes down that you can send your sims into to relieve themselves. But um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted this to be a classy environment still. So I built this kind of uh, hidden wash, okay. washing closet. Right. I have nothing to add to that. I literally <laughs> That's fair. I you know what? That's that. absolutely fair. There you go. So, um, 
next to that, no, across from that, I guess, is the bar. And then this is the sweet buffet, I'd say. Right. Um, that you might want to grab a it piece looks of like cake sushi. from. Oh, it's okay, it's cake. There's no that's, sushi. That's what there. I was going to say earlier when we were talking about the different um, foods that we would have at our respective weddings. Um, there, you've got to have a cake, right? There's got to be a cake. I people... don't think you have to. Honestly, I don't think you have to do anything. I'm a big believer in changing whatever you like to change. I feel like right. like I've seen that a lot in with when I was a wedding photographer with people who were about, about to get married and were planning for certain things that I were like, wait, I really don't want to do this, but it's a wedding tradition. No, yeah, that's and stupid. And I, I love to recommend just yeah, break the not tradition. giving a fuck. Embrace modernity. What? Maternity? <laughs> no, not maternity. Modernity. <laughs> um, make your own choices. Have your own wedding. Make it yours. I feel like that's a way cooler story anyway afterwards. Because you're going to remember that way better having your own your own things that you like at your wedding. Right, and having the people you love. I know there is no, certain... No, 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 sorry. I've got to cut you off right there. You've got to invite your worst nemesis. <laughs> We've talked about this earlier. <laughs> We should have Googled the plural of nemesis right now. Ne nemesimuses. By now. Nemesims? Nemesims. Nemesims? Right, I got you covered. That's so good. Thank you. So I know there are certain social obligations, obviously, and not everyone can do that, but I would love if people could just have whomever they really want at their wedding, the, right. at their wedding, you know. Right. I'll just ha I'll just be the two of you, or the three of you, whatever you flows your boat, you know? Well, that's very nice of you. That's a good note to end it on. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending 20 minutes of your day with us, and see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.